Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add text to your project in Explainia 4.0. So I've got a project to open here. Let me add a scene and click Create New Scene. And here we are on the blank canvas. Let me add a text box to the canvas. You'll notice that it creates an entry in the timeline. I'll add some text in this box, like so. And then I'll change the font to Anton, like so. Next, I'll resize and reposition the text box on the canvas. You can also use the mouse roller to zoom in and zoom out of the canvas. You'll notice these buttons. The shift button allows you to resize the text box proportionally. And if I unlock it, you'll see that I can now resize it without any constraints. Let me lock it back. The rotation button allows me to freely rotate the element like so. The Add Animation button I'll cover in more detail under the Animation section, but let me briefly show you how it works. When I click the Add Animation button, it creates a keyframe and I can move it around on the canvas. You'll also notice that I can resize and rotate it, and it also has a shift lock. You will also notice this box at the side. You can add additional animation points and remove them. And in the frames box, you can control the speed of the animation. 24 frames equals 1 second. So if I close the canvas, you'll notice that it animates like so, just the way I place it. Let me open the canvas, and then change the frames to 15, like so. And if I close the canvas again, you can see that the animation is a bit faster. Let me open the canvas, and then remove the animation point and I'll move this text box towards the top right corner of the canvas. This text color box allows you to change the color of the text, like so. You can use this section to format the text, like change the font, size, style. Under font effects, you can apply a shadow, blur, etc. In the timeline, you'll notice this entry as I mentioned earlier. Let me use the duplicate button and then duplicate this text element twice, like so. And here they are on the canvas. Let me just align them, like so. You can then click on the respective elements and then change the text in the respective text boxes. In this other scene, I have a text quote in the form of a paragraph. And I can use this text alignment buttons to align the text left, center, and right. If I wanted to delete an element, I can just click it and then click the delete button. Let me undo that. Alternatively, you can delete an element in the timeline by using the X button corresponding to the element. Let me undo that. If I close the canvas, in the tab section, you'll notice the text tab which I will cover in a separate tutorial. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.